You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome <laughs> to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Weekend, weekend Review. There you go. I, I remember. You did? Did you? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's on Friday this week because that damn snow just keeps coming down. Yeah. 19 yeah. inches. That was the total. And at least here. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of snow. Bunch of BS. I know it went from there being nothing on the ground to tons of snow a few hours later. So. Mm-hmm. But uh, other than that, we had a uh, good week of wrestling. Yeah. Um, SmackDown was surprisingly good. Yeah. So that was yeah. that was a plus. But then again, it kind of kind of cheated a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, if anything was going to push it over the hump, it would be this. Yeah. So uh, we'll get to that when uh, we get to SmackDown, though. Yeah. Um, Raw opened with, with Angle the- coming out j- yet again. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's like, I got bad news. Roman's still suspended. And then everyone starts cheering. Was it? I thought it was like a mix. Um, actually, funny enough, the, this that part crowd. Was- no, the, oh. it was they, there was cheers, and I guess there was yeah. probably some booze. Mm-hmm. But um, this crowd was very marky. Mm. Like... There was actually people cheering for Roman. And well, it, people were booing Alexa Bliss. Oh yeah, that's, that's um, true. Yeah. So it, that that was probably the the easiest ones to to pick. Yeah, out. there was that. Yeah, well, Alexa did get a lot of booze. Yeah, but, so you know, um, that's never. Oh, well, it is a good sign because it's uh, true. It, it's a good and a bad it, sign too. Well, because she's so good that people cheer her mm-hmm. normally, yes. but she's she she does what she does to mm. to get heat. It's true, but, but it just we'll, doesn't quite. We'll work. get to that when we get to that. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, yeah. He says Roman's not going to be here because he's suspended, and yeah. then he says, "And I don't know when Brock Lesnar's going to show up." Yeah. And but he will be here. Will Vince be here. McMahon assured me. Mm-hmm. And then we see Roman walking out from the crowd. Right. Well, before Roman came out, he said that he wanted to address the oh the tag the team tag. title yeah match at Mania. Braun Braun will have a match, but he needs mm-hmm. a partner. He doesn't need a partner. Yeah. He needs to squash Samus and Cesaro by himself. Nah, not gonna happen. It should. It should, but it's not gonna fine. happen. Um, but yeah, and then at this point, Roman. That's when he comes out. Yeah, he, he comes creeping out of the crowd. Yeah. Um, this this was a, all right at the beginning anyway. I don't know. This, this segment was it, it it was drawn out too long. Yeah, it definitely was. And uh, so yeah, Roman basically came out and said that Brock's not going to show again. But here I am out every week, and you suspend me, and you know all this nonsense. And then Kurt Angle tells him that he's trespassing, right? Well, he said that if you don't leave now, we'll be forced to uh, do something about it. Yeah. Right. And There's the, people back there. They'll do something about it. Yeah. And then Angle's uh, really bad in the <laughs> whole authority figure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So then uh, we have U.S. Marshals come out. In quotes. Yes. To uh, arrest Roman Reigns. So they come out and put him in handcuffs. Mm-hmm. And they're starting to lead him out of the ring. And they put their hands on him. And I guess that was enough for... Uh, well, the, the guy grabbed him. He's like, don't touch, touch me. me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm already... I'm yeah. already... I'm, I'm cooperating. <laughs> I'm already handcuffed here. Yeah. I don't have to do this. And then... Uh, People, it's true what they do. <laughs> and the same guy touched him again. Mm-hmm. And then that's when he lost it. Yeah. And he started so, beating up the U.S. Yeah. US Marshals. And apparently broke one of their jaws. Not broke. Dislocated one of the jaws of one of the guys. Good. He deserved it. Just touching Roman. You don't touch the big dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so the, the this is, is, is interesting. What so the guy's beating up U.S. marshals, and it's a very patriotic country, and uh-huh. you know, you would think they would they would be against the big dog for committing such acts. No, no. Yeah, in in the, the heartland of Texas, right? Weren't they in Texas? They were in Texas. Yes. So. I don't know. Things aren't adding up here. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Roman Reigns handcuffed in the middle of the ring, and then Brock Lesnar's music hits. He comes down. Mm-hmm. Suplex City. Yeah. Um, kind of felt bad for Roman being in those handcuffs. Well, yeah, because he couldn't protect him. Yeah, he was, his wrists were bleeding like crazy oh, after yeah. they, yeah. I was so, like, ooh, that, that was not fun. Yeah. Um, so he threw him around a lot, beat him up. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, earlier on, Roman brought a chair 
in and said yes. he wasn't going to leave until Lesnar shows up, right? Well, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. He was he was sitting on the chair, mm-hmm. and that's when the U.S. Marshals came yeah, out to right. arrest him. Well, the only reason I say that is because then Brock Lesnar started to beat him with the chair. Yeah. So Roman took a good beating. Oh, yeah. Which obviously is meant mm-hmm. to get him sympathy. Right, which it, it did a little bit. But again, I think that had something to do, do with, with the, crowd. the crowd. Okay, fair enough. So... Because they were cheering him before mm-hmm. the, before this, this happened, all happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but then again, I have no problem with people getting against. I mean, get, um, like getting behind Roman. No, no, no. So no, no, no. I, 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 got I, I don't like that. I have to be skeptical. <laughs> but <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, don't have a choice. So Lesnar beats him up, goes to leave, mm-hmm. goes back in the ring again, beats him up. Yeah. Goes out, and then at this point, I think they start putting him on a stretcher, right? Yeah. Um. So Roman's on the stretcher, and Brock's starting to walk away, and he's like, nope, goes over and starts pushing and, and Roman. It's funny, because at this point, Brock had taken his shirt off, mm-hmm. and as he's running to the ring, you can just see how winded he is. <laughs> and then, like you said, he knocks over the uh, the thing. And then and he like, drags it. He had such a hard time knocking yeah, it know, over. It was funny. It's um, like it moved when he went to push right, it. All right, here was my part of my problem with this segment. Uh-huh. All right, so I, I get their whole thing is to build Brock as the bad guy in the situation, and uh-huh. I understand that. Now, why do you employ the same tactics that Braun Strowman does? Like, you know how he beats up a, a heel uh-huh. and then goes outside the ring and then goes back in and does some more damage and then the same thing? Um. Well, I mean, I guess I it's a difference. Braun really does that anymore yeah because he always goes one more time remember the crowd starts chanting well, he doesn't like leave and do it no well he leaves sometimes he leaves the ring and goes back in yeah i just i just thought it was weird that they did it this way well to be fair at this point anything that braun does people it's, love that's true and it's, I guess, it doesn't matter what he's doing because he's just beating people up so people enough. love him fair so enough. What it would normally be seen as like a heel tactic to him is just him being him. Mm-hmm. So, I know it's a strange thing to say, but yeah, you know, some wrestlers get true. away with things yeah. that others. Don't. It was just odd that, but I guess that's just WWE having mm-hmm. the same idea for everything. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Well, there's only so many things you can do. I guess that's true. So, uh, what else happened? Yeah. Uh, we got Oscar versus Alexa Bliss. Yes, this was set up last week. Yeah, I mm-hmm. believe. Yeah. Um, um, I'm surprised they don't have, we haven't gotten any, uh, cross promotion with Charlotte coming and like watching Oscar's matches and Oscar going to SmackDown and watching Charlotte's match. Cause she was on the mixed match challenge this past it's, Tuesday. It, that is true. I mean, they don't really need to build anything. Yeah. I mean, well, they, they did the one thing they needed to do. They had Oscar on mm-hmm. SmackDown. No, I know. So, but they could have like... brought her out and had her sit and watch the mm-hmm. title match. That was a great match anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it was just something I was thinking of. Oh yeah, well yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, and one I thing I don't think they really need to do it. it was it's this bothers me a little bit is that they're they put this match as you know Alexa is going to break the streak, uh-huh. and then the mix match challenge is all about the streak, mm-hmm. and then the title match is all about the streak. Yep. Like I, I get that's their thing to they're trying to build it up, right? But I mean. Is she going to lose the mixed match challenge and then not have that against Charlotte at well, WrestleMania? I, I know it's just just things. That's that just... that's the funny thing is because they gave away the ending to the mixed match challenge because that's going to end before WrestleMania. There you go, and that's so that's all I. You that's know. all you're getting. At? Yes. Okay. If they didn't make such a big deal about the streak, then it would have been would've a little bit right. a little more. Or they said that this isn't an official WWE match. Something like that. Yeah. That would have been the mm-hmm. smart thing to do. Yeah, but they already ruined that in the beginning when Lana won, and they made a big deal about it being her first win. Yeah. Well, so that's when that, I kind of yeah. speculated that this was going to be a thing for Asuka, which mm-hmm. we had expected in the first place. Yeah, that's true. But anyway. So um, Alexa actually had... Some uh, heel heat. Well, that, because of the promo that her and Mickey cut before the match, mm-hmm. um, and uh, where she had like... Fake apologized. Yeah, fake apologized to Naya. Mm-hmm. Um, and then during the match, she was actually in control for a good portion of it, which was mm-hmm. a little surprising. Yeah, well, you still got to make your champion strong. <laughs> I guess that's true. Um, they don't always do that, but yeah. Um, but yeah, eventually she, oh yeah, that's right. Right. No, she, she says, screw it and, yeah. and leaves, grabs yeah. her title and Mickey. Right, Cause, Jean. um, Oscar had her in an ankle lock mm-hmm. and she grabbed the rope, right? Well, she 
or she like pulled herself out of the ring. I think Mickey might have helped mm-hmm. her get out of the ring. Okay. And she was like limping, so she's like, "Okay, we're leaving." Mm-hmm. And so then they started walking up the entrance way, and then all of a sudden, Aya's music hit, and yep. she came down, and uh, would they run away? Right? She no, she beat up Mickey, right? And then Alexa ran through the crowd, and then they had the whole chase sequence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So and I was not in a good mood. No. Yeah. So. uh... <laughs> Uh, up next, we had the uh, backstage segment where... Uh, oh, right. This yeah. builds for the match. Yeah. Bliss yeah. comes out up to him. It's like, can you believe this? This is ridiculous. And then Angle's like, well, you know, she does have a, a, <laughs> a right to be mad at you. <laughs> you need to arrest her. No, no, we already got that angle going for another wrestler. <laughs> so he's like, I am going to do something about this. I'm going to make a match between the two of you at WrestleMania yes. for your women's championship. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah. Yep. So that is not a surprise. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we figured that was happening. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah. Yep. And then they touched on the whole tag title picture yeah. with uh, Strowman coming out and basically saying that if I'm forced to to have a partner, you guys are screwed. <laughs> um, then he, you know, they had a whole back and forth thing. And yeah. Well, the bar had come out as well. Yep. Yeah. We learned that they, you know, sleep together, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that was We a, do everything together. Yeah. I don't know if that was a slip-up by Cesaro or it was um, men, because the crowd didn't seem to really get, you know, like it was a joke. It was just yeah, kind of... Uh, it could have been intentional. Yeah. And, I, I, and you know, it was, you know, just like... Uh, I didn't know if miss. it was something off the cuff that he did. And just yeah, I'm sure. Well, that's it. what I mean yeah, by yeah. intentional, not necessarily by, like, them, mm-hmm. but, like, by him. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yep. So Braun informs them that he has a match between one of the two of them. <laughs> that was so, good. So I guess they uh, they got to choose because mm-hmm. it looked like Sheamus was going to go in and it, did, would he throw Cesaro into the ring? No, no, they both got up on the apron and Sheamus was, they were both about to take off their shirts, I believe, and Cesaro started climbing in the ring and I think that maybe Sheamus pushed him in oh, okay. or he dropped down. Yeah. I don't remember. It was one of the two. I, I believe yeah. that Sheamus kind of chickened yeah. out. But it was the... Cesaro versus Braun and yes. not a surprise here. Braun went over. Yep. Um, he was able to counter any Sheamus interference that he was trying to employ yeah well because Sheamus was afraid of him yeah yeah and uh throughout the night we had uh ultimate deletion promo videos they yes. had posted these on twitter uh-huh. i think earlier in the day i on, saw on them. facebook there was a there was a picture of matt with george washington the giraffe mm-hmm. and laying on scars guard mm-hmm. the dilapidated boat yeah yeah, yeah. They were good. <laughs> i enjoyed um, them yeah it, it's funny so because uh, this happened later on, but apparently Michael Cole had said, who names a boat <laughs> <laughs> right after the, uh, so for some reason well, they're making the people my- of, uh, the United, I think it was the UK where they named a boat, the Bodie McBoat face. It was like a, a poll that people were able to take part in to name the boat. That's sounds... And that's what was done. <laughs> it sounds horrible. <laughs> um, anyway, yep. so it, throughout the night, Every time something of the ultimate deletion was talked about, Michael Cole was trashing it. Oh, yeah, completely shooting it down, which I think Matt had talked on either Twitter or or he might have made a video about it, about him having to delete Michael Cole, possibly. (laughs) Because, yeah, later on the night when the uh, ultimate deletion went on, he said, I'm sorry for for what you're about to say or something like that. Why is he doing that? That You know, that was Vince talking in his head just in case people were going to crap on it i guess so yeah maybe um, um but yeah. well we had the revival versus titus worldwide which was absolutely nothing and yeah. the revival won but which is a what, surprise what came of it is that the revival announced they're uh going to be in the andre the giant battle mo- room battle royal they said that they're going to be the first tag team to win it yeah which i guess means that they're just going to give up when it's just be the final two and win. then climb over the we top win! Yeah. Yay! Mm-hmm. even though technically i don't know if, if this was true or not but one of the years it might have been the year the big show won mm-hmm. it was um uh miz and sandow with the big show oh so technically if they had eliminated the big show it would have been a tag team like he was the stunt double at that point right yep yeah awesome stuff 
Um, we got the announcement that Mark Henry is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's that was surprising. The real question is why is there so many people going into the Hall of Fame? No. It's like eight of them this year. I don't know, yes. Um I think uh, Edge and Christian are gonna induct the Dudleys in. I know that's what and uh the Hardy Boba, Boba boys, said what he wanted. I think to... he they're gonna be there as well. Makes or sense. Where they wanted some part of it, which they're, yeah. They're all like synonymous mm-hmm. and not syn- synonymous. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound like right, but I understand what yeah, you're yeah. saying. They're all affiliated. There you go. With that each works. other from from the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Um, Bailey and Sasha tried to mend the friendship, to which the crowd started wetting them. Well, they do that pretty much any time. Yeah, people but, talk nowadays. But now it makes not not really some some people some people constantly get it. Yes, but. It's a very, very common, common thing. Yeah, I guess so. And it doesn't matter who it is mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Which, I mean, I think I would have cared more about seeing this match than the women's title match that's currently going to happen. It's true. Um, but, you know, it's still time. But I would assume these two will be the last two remaining in the women's battle royal. Oh, yeah, Which they right. renamed it just the women's, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. So, technically, it's not... Anything mm-hmm. groundbreaking because there was a women's battle royal at yeah. WrestleMania 25. So then they just showcased all prominent women in the history of WWE, it which is it what been, it should have been. They should have anyway. just made it like the China Memorial Battle Royal. <sighs> Why wouldn't they do that? Why isn't she in the Hall of Fame? That's next year. It probably will be next <laughs> I, year. Um, I would hope so, but, but there's still always that chance. But that's the thing, though, because, like, you. You have the Andre the Giant one. If you don't associate a name with, I know obviously they tried, but they picked a bad person. Mm-hmm. Clearly, um, it just doesn't feel. Granted, you know it's all, it's all nonsense anyway. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like as, it, yeah, it no, means I got as much Ow. if it's just a battle Ow. royal. I wonder what they're gonna do for the trophy then. Um, it's gonna be oh, the hand that that <laughs> <laughs> may <made> young. <laughs> Spit like out. Glover, <laughs> right? Wasn't that a video game? Glover. Gl- Glover was a video yeah. game. Yes. <laughs> I think it was like a, at the raw, um, not the thousandth 20- episode. Yeah. yeah. And the hand Ow. was all grown up, or something like that. <laughs> it was very interesting. Oh my god. Yeah. So um, let's get back to what we were talking. Did you about. ever hear the story about the hand? What? Why it? <laughs> why the hand was given birth to no okay i will tell you after the podcast okay. <laughs> anyway so we had uh sasha and bailey teaming up against absolution yep. mm-hmm. um like you said they tried to mend the fences or sasha did mm-hmm. and bailey bailey basically said that i can accept what you did it was the way you did, did it. it yeah that look in your eyes yeah and uh, uh but yeah basically absolution went over here because of more miscommunication um i think it was mandy rose and sasha were in the corner while bailey had uh sonia deville rolled up in the ring Mm -hmm. and the referee was focusing on the two illegal women yeah trying to get them out of the ring so this kind of started bailey yelling at sasha and then sonia rolled her up i believe right Mm -hmm. and that, oh, she kicked her and then rolled her up. Yeah, yeah. she hit her with, uh, mm-hmm. well, I guess, her finisher. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. up next was probably one of the scariest segments of the night. I guess. You're talking about the John Cena thing? Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? No. By scary? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. I just thought it was pretty bad. Oh, no, it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't think it, I don't know, it's just gotten to the point where it's... it's it, we knew this was going to happen. I know. So, um, anyway, Cena comes out and says, uh, "Everyone's all excited about the match, so I'm going to have a lunar take." Mm-hmm. Blah blah. But blah. But then he's like, "I don't care if I go as a fan. If you don't want to come back, just yeah. let me know. Give yeah. me a sign, any sign." Yeah, because uh, he says that Taker didn't respond at all. He didn't mm-hmm. say yes or no. Uh, he says that he's that's being disrespectful, yep. and it's not just being disrespectful to Cena; it's being disrespectful to the fans. Um, calls Taker coward, mm-hmm. um, and then, and then Kane comes out. <laughs> so, and this is what I'm referring to being scary, is that oh, we could get Kane. There's yeah. a lot of 
the commentators are going, well, is Kane challenging John Cena yeah, at WrestleMania, right. or is he answering for The Undertaker? So had they not said that at all, it would have been a little more obvious that that's what they're doing. Okay. But um, you heard what they announced afterward, right? What? Kane versus Cena for next Monday. So? Okay. They're not going to have the match there. So? Kane, Undertaker might come out and interrupt that'd during be okay. that. That'd it's be okay. It's not going to be Kane versus I, John Cena at WrestleMania. I know, but I'm just, just want to make sure. Doesn't That's matter. why it's scary. All right. I guess so. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Just I, because, I was concerned. Just because I knew that they were having a match next Monday. Yeah. But I, I guess that doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Because it can end in a no contest. Braun Strowman can come out and beat up Kane or something. Mm -hmm. I want you as my partner. Don't wrestle John Cena. Yeah. Don't waste your time. <laughs> um, but anyway, Kane comes out, strokes down as John Cena, and mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah. Yep, yep. And we had the Miz Taraj versus the Ballot Club. Yes. Um, we got Miz making fun of uh, Seth Rollins, Tyler Black, and uh, Prince Nevitt, not Prince Devitt. Mm -hmm. so. so is that a legal thing? That he said it wrong, or did he just so. say it I think wrong? That was just the Miz being the Miz. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I don't. Well, he said he said Rollins' name right. That's yeah. why I was confused. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Whatever. Um, but yeah. Yep. And they had a match. Yeah. Rollins was on commentary. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to. I know the. Oh, wait. Did. Wow. Yeah, the the ballot club won. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, yeah. they didn't. I was like, wait um, a second. Anderson got in his hi -yah kicks. Yes, yes. Which is the staple mm -hmm. now. And he didn't take the pin. It's true. That's because his team won. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, basically... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's funny that the Miz took the pin here. Yeah. Um, Axel was, like, I guess trying to distract Finn or something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Miz went for the skull cushion finale on Balor, and then he somehow pushed Miz into Axel and then rolled him up. And that was the that makes sense. Match. Yeah, well, yeah, but it was just it was just strange. Yep. And then um, I guess they what triple teamed Balor at the end, right? Yeah. And well, then... it was they attacked Finn, and then they took out Anderson and Gallows, yeah. oh, okay. and then and... Rollins came out mm -hmm. for the save. That's right. <sighs> um. After that, and I think they got face to face, right? Because I think Finn got the upper hand at that point. I thought he got the upper hand at that. What point. at the end? Yeah. No, it was it was just. Oh, are you talking about Rollins and Finn? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, oh, I, I think they just got up and they kind of just yeah. looked at each other. All right. Yeah, I thought that it was like they did on SmackDown where I didn't need you. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. no. Um, Fair enough. That no, way. no, Finn was taking yeah. a beating. Okay. Yeah, that was four days ago. It's forgive true. me. Yeah. Um. So uh, they actually had a pretty good Ronda Rousey package. Yeah. Where she was talking about like her journey. To UFC and mm -hmm. then to the WWE. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this she, would be fine if they did something like that each week, just promoting her. Instead of having her actively speak yeah. on TV or hurt people. Well, that too. Yeah, and then apparently, I guess, while the ultimate deletion was going on, because they was? did not get, um, get it live, they weren't able to see it live. Really? Yeah, that's what I was told. That's weird. Yeah. I figured that they'd play it and then afterward yeah yeah because the overflow wasn't very much it might have went to what five after yeah yeah if even yeah um but yeah uh like you were referring to ronda rousey came out and they were talk. she was talking about how like excited she was to be there and then dana brooke comes out who do you think you are yeah you're just some new person trying to cut in line, even though that's not what she's doing, which is funny. <laughs> she actually made it very clear that she didn't want to do that. No, I don't want special privileges. Yeah. And then uh, Dana like goes to attack her, I guess, and then she does an awkward throw yeah, like... on her, and then she like rolls out of the ring. Yeah, and, I think uh, Dana landed on the microphone on the ground as well. It was very well. close. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. But, and then we got the ultimate deletion yes. on our end. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, uh, I, it was... It was far too close to the original. That's the only it, problem. Yeah, it was, but I mean, they have something to build on now. It's true. We uh, they, we were left with a cliffhanger. We got a Jeff Hardy. Uh, mm hmm. That, oh, that was one of my favorite parts, where uh, Senior Benjamin was underneath the uh, dilapidated boat, and Bray flipped it over, and he's got a uh, a globe. I guess it was a blow up one, right? Yeah. And then he handed the it to Bray, world, and he's got the whole world in your hands. And then yeah. Jeff. That's when Jeff pops up and makes his. Uh, yep reference and then the uh when they were inside the 
it was like a garage or whatever it was, the workshop where the ring oh, was. Oh my god! And then, oh my god, the, the chair of wheels or the mower of lawns? <laughs> that chair of wheels. So then Hardy gets on the lawnmower and goes to start to drive over Bray, and then you see Bray in that weird bridge position, and it was ridiculous. Yeah. And they were chasing each other outside. Um, Fireworks. We got flashbacks of uh, Bray house being burnt down or whatever the hell it was yeah well that was from his feud with orton last yeah. year mm-hmm. um but yeah it was it was something yeah it wasn't bad i oh, enjoyed no, it, it wasn't terrible it I'm... ended with bray getting murdered in a lake so <laughs> that was something it was the rake lake of reincarnation yes. though, so that means that he could come back as husky harris that's what i'm hoping for yeah or maybe he's gonna come back as his dad I, I would honestly <laughs> that'd be funny but realistically i would be surprised if they do like just a full-on sister abigail thing that's what i'm afraid of if yeah. we if he comes I, I out in his cheese idea, cloth and all his yeah. other nonsense I, I don't like the idea but that it's hard to believe that they wouldn't do that that's what i, I was gonna believe as well but yeah. uh I, I mean i like the original one a little better than this one. Oh, the the original one yeah. was certainly better than yeah. this one and they went a little uh a little more out there, yeah. shooting fireworks at each other rather than uh, yeah. just shooting them into the air. Well, a lot the, more stunts too. But it's you're comparing Jeff Hardy and Bray Wyatt. It's it's, it's true. It's not fair. Yeah, it is not fair. No. So, uh, so yeah. But yeah, that was raw. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on to, on SmackDown. to SmackDown. Yeah. So during Tuesday afternoon, we got news that Daniel Bryan was cleared to wrestle. Yeah, and that was very surprising, and the internet broke. Pretty much. Um, a lot of people are uh, speculating. Uh, I guess the Roman experiment has failed. We're going to bring Daniel Bryan back. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> um, but yeah, the show opens with a uh, with like a video package of Daniel Bryan and then like all the news mm-hmm. like things. And then a bunch of Twitter... Um, like posts right and one of the ones that popped, Hulk, yep, yeah, that I saw popped that. up that was, it was good. very funny that was funny um so brian comes out and he thanks the fans mm-hmm. and says that i'm cleared and then uh, he's like i don't know when i'm gonna come back but i will be back and then everybody starts chanting wrestlemania yeah. and then he looks at the sign yeah. and i was like oh that was pretty good i like the way they did that yeah and he was really getting choked up when he mentioned brie so yeah it, was, it, it yeah. was just a really heartfelt... Yeah. Uh, it was grateful. Yeah, yeah. So, and, it, and we've all gone through the journey with him, mm-hmm. you know, of not being able to yeah. get into the it, ring, so... It's it's very, um, I don't know, it's very relatable and, yeah. you know... Mm-hmm. It was interesting, that article I sent you today. I didn't read all of it, I just read yeah, the title but, of but it. But it shows that, I guess, the doctor had said that Brian's brain looks as if it never had any injury prior uh-huh. like it looked i guess of a healthy brain i mean i don't know the uh how legitimate the article was it was through pw insider but yeah, usually they're pretty good with their stuff the, the biggest problem is that it's all secondhand information yeah and the fact that um i would imagine that if it wouldn't his brain didn't look like that he wouldn't be able to wrestle yeah well that and the fact that you know the reason why they made him retire was because of the condition mm-hmm. like you'd think that they wouldn't or well, he the wouldn't made him retire is because they don't want him he don't want daniel bryan to sue him because vince mcmahon always wins in court <laughs> <laughs> anyway you would think that if he was actually able to like i know that he'd been getting cleared by a oh, lot of doctors mm-hmm. But, you, like, there has to be something Because he had legit. gone to even the uh, medical doctor that was a concussion specialist for the NFL and yeah. was cleared. Yeah, but you would think that there's some, at least some legitimacy to what the WWE wanted. Yeah. He also mentioned that he was glad for the WWE to be... Right, because they put his health first. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And they they cared Which, more about Daniel Bryan, the person, than Daniel Bryan, We want Bryan, you to wrestler. say this. Make sure you get that line in there, too. Um... He, that one might like they might have yeah. like suggested it right but i don't know if yeah because I'm, I'm interested to know how much you know was scripted there or if they kind of just gave him the mic and they, said, you know what, go they out. put out a video that's that was him. daniel bryan writing that promo. oh really yes. oh okay i didn't see it that. it was um it was daniel bryan writes his thank you speech gotcha. before smackdown okay. live so makes sense i i didn't watch it but i know that 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 was the uh yeah cool the gist of it that's cool um, though 
then, uh, yeah, I guess he's walking backstage after this, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Ziggler comes up to him and says, you know what, I want to be the first to beat you, right? Or something yep. like that. Yeah. No, that's all right. We have a long list of people we'd rather see him. Yeah, we don't, we don't need a washed up Dolph Ziggler wasting Daniel Bryan's time. <laughs> He had one match, and they chose Dolph Ziggler as yeah, his opponent. That'd be terrible. Yeah, because I guess now he's got to... Uh, Although Dolph Ziggler's like the only one not doing anything on SmackDown true, anyway. So. Probably a very... Uh, you know, he's a safe and capable wrestler, I'm that, sure. That is true. Yeah. Uh, so we got a rematch of uh, Fastlane. Fastlane, Rusev versus Nakamura. Want to hear something funny? Hmm. I saw them say that this match is happening. Mm. They said it's a rematch from Fastlane. I'm like, this happened last week. How is it a rematch? It didn't it happen AJ last week. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously this but stuff was is... Was Fastlane last week, too? Uh... It was the sun. You know, yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So AJ's on the outside, very much like it was mm-hmm. um, the, the week before yep. with Nakamura being on the outside that yes. time. But um, this time the match actually had an ending. Yep. Uh, Shinsuke. So, oh, what were we going to say? I was just going to say uh, Shinsuke rolls. Uh, they, they did a bunch of the roll up stuff, mm-hmm. like the back and forth roll ups. Um, and then Shinsuke eventually wins. Uh, English and Rusev attack after the match. Mm-hmm. And AJ, AJ does the. Slowly this. gets up and does his thing. Yep. Very yeah. slow. Yeah. Um, they didn't actually make it into the ring. Nope. Shinsuke is able to fight off Rusev and English. Mm-hmm. And then he notices AJ outside, and he was like, nah, I got this. Yep. I got this. Yeah. But thanks. Because um, I guess AJ is dealing with some sort of injury. Uh, I guess that would make sense. Is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why he was at Raw. He was yeah. going to see the doctor. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. What, does the doctor not travel to SmackDown? <laughs> um, it was probably just... The first time no, it was a joke. I know, but I'm joke. just saying that that would that would make sense. Yeah. Um. So uh, let's see. Oh, we have I guess backstage. Uh, Natty challenges Charlotte, right? Yeah, because Nat because Italian... Oscar's only undefeated because she hasn't challenged Natty yet. Yep. Yeah. That's so dumb. <laughs> Which they have fought. That's what I. Yeah, heard. I think Ross brought up on his WTF yeah, moments, and then there was. They, she lost the both matches. It was like, I think it was, well, I know, I'm just saying. Um, it was like during like a tour, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, Natalia was actually challenging for the NXT championship. Yeah, funny. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we got AJ backstage or walking backstage and Nakamura comes up to him. He's like, reminds him that I didn't need your help. Yep. And then <laughs> AJ's like, oh, I know you're going to beat me at Mania. And he's like, AJ, you need to be more confident. And he's like, but I am, with a knee to the face. Yep. Good stuff. They're keeping it short and sweet with Nakamura. That's. It's it's nice when they have feuds that are built on competition instead Rather of than, hatred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They make more sense. Well, I mean, that's kind of the Japanese way to build, you know, your matches kind of build through feuds and stuff like well, that. Yeah, because you're, built, you're fighting for a reason, not mm-hmm. for, well, I should say you're fighting for glory instead of right. yourself. Mm-hmm. So. It makes sense. We had uh, Corbin versus Dillinger for some unknown reason. Oh, you know, it just happened. Dillinger sandbagged the end of days and just didn't go anywhere. And then uh, Corbin was able to hit it correctly. Yeah. And he won with a very short match. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, at this point, Corbin's significantly higher up oh, yeah. than Dillinger is. Yeah. So. Um, Which is got- funny to say, considering the way that they both looked like when they were at NXT. Yeah, because neither of them really did anything. Yeah. Um, we had the women's title match with Charlotte facing Natalia. Was that a title Natalia. match? Oh, no, no, maybe, was gonna, maybe it wasn't. I don't it was think just it was a, regular, a title okay, match. Okay, yeah, it was just a regular... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a regular match. Yeah. Um, but no, they put on a hell of a match. Yeah, it was It was good. Um, um, first, you know, a normal SmackDown yeah. match. They gave it a lot of time. Considering we're used to six women tag matches in yeah. the women's division mm-hmm. on SmackDown, yeah. I'll, I'll take it. We did so, get the tag match later on. It's in the not worse than the six women tag match. I know, match, it's though, true. So. It's because Charlotte and Natty were in this match. Next week, it will be. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Um, I like the way this ended. It was cool. Um, so Natalia hits a superplex, and the two of them are down in the middle of the ring. Mm-hmm. And then Carmella's music hits. Which she's signaling for a referee to come from the back. Which you're not... You don't need to do that, I no, don't think. No, but there's a referee in the ring. <laughs> sure. Is that how Rollins should... cashed in? He didn't bring his own referee, did he? He didn't, but I think you kind of need to, now I think about it. 
Because the referee that's in the ring already is a. I guess yeah, the match is already yeah. I guess that's true. So, um, because I I think that they didn't want it to be too confusing, and Mm -hmm. they didn't want to make a referee run down that huge ramp at WrestleMania. And I guess they needed that break in time. Yeah. uh, On SmackDown, Uh just to set everything up properly. Yeah. Um. So Carmella comes out with a referee. Mm-hmm. And then she tries to cash in, but it takes too long. <laughs> when she, she gets into the ring, she kicks Charlotte to make sure she's, she's not down. moving. Yeah, and she's, I guess, facing the outside of the ring by the timekeeper's yeah, area. She's trying to get she's, them to ring the yeah, bell. Yeah, to hand the the briefcase out. And I guess Charlotte kicks her, right? And she, well, yeah, because Charlotte had gotten up. And she would she go out of the ring, I think? Yeah, I think she kicked her out of the yeah. ring. And then at this point, with Charlotte distracted, Natalia came over and rolled her up. Yep. So... <laughs> They're making, like, I like what they're doing with the Money in the Bank stuff, but they're doing it very strangely because, like, the spots are great, but they're just, their excuse for it not happening or yeah. dumb. Cause, I guess they're waiting to, they don't know what they're going to do, maybe? No, they have no idea. Yeah, There's, there's no way they have any idea. But if Asuka comes out as champion at WrestleMania and Nia comes out as champion. There's no way she's going to she pro- cash in should probably just get should probably just not cash it in successfully, yeah. I would imagine. Forget to cash it in. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Actually, now I think about it cuz she'd be like the longest reign. Well, I think she's the longest holder of it right now. Well, this is the first women's one. Yeah, I know. She absolutely should have cashed in on Natalia after she won a Yeah, time. that would have made sense. Yeah. Um, but I guess you had Corbin cashing right around that time too. So that that's yeah, not that it really matters, matter. but I does don't know. not matter. I don't know. Yep. All I know is that once that pay per view hits again, we'll be mm. speculating constantly until right. it's over. Anyway, that's true. Um. So yeah. Yep. Uh, what else do we get? Uh, Harper, since he's no longer Luke Harper. Yeah. Uh, versus Jimmy Uso. <laughs> This, uh, he actually got a decent amount of offense in the match, surprisingly. Yeah. He was able to uh, take advantage of the fact that it was just one of them, I mm-hmm. guess. That's yeah. what they were going for. Sure. Um, he was picking his spots. He was trying to work mm-hmm. body parts to try to get an, an advantage. Yep. But uh, ultimately, Harper's big strong man yeah. takes, out, uh, takes out Mr. Uso with the discus, yeah, the discus clothesline. There you go. And then what are we... Learn that it will be a triple threat for the U.S. title match at, or the U.S. title at Mania. Uh, I think it was established last. Was it week. established last week? Okay. Well, I, I fell so. asleep during the segment. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, Jenna comes out, uh, says that he wants to be U.S. champion, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, then he complains about not getting respect, which is you know typical. Yeah. Uh, Rude comes out and then he calls uh, Rude a hypocrite and says that uh, he's going to win his title back in Mania. Oh, no, I'm not laughing about the right thing. I was laughing about what happened last week when he was saying something about uh, Rude being a better U.S. champion because he won it before Randy Orton. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So dumb. Yeah, well, you know, Ginger doesn't have much to uh, really work with. Yeah. So so, uh, Orton at that point comes out, says, Ginger, shut up. You suck, and you're nothing without your stooge. Um, And then... (laughs) He gets all freaked out. He's like, oh, I could win without this guy. Blah, blah, blah. Um, is There's a tag match next week, yes, right? Yes, there is. So uh, so Ginger throws uh, his buddy at Orton, who gets <laughs> set up into uh, a draping DDT, and then he gets a uh, glorious DDT. Uh, Rude, then he goes, Rude then tries to hit Orton with the glorious mm-hmm. DDT, but he is unsuccessful. Yeah. Um, and then the three of them kind of just stare at each other in the ring. It was weird. Interesting. And then I think after they go to commercial, they say, next week we have a tag match. Yeah. Randy Orton and Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal and uh, I, don't, I don't remember. Sunil? Sunil or Samir, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah. yeah. Then we had a women's tag match, which really doesn't need to be talked about. Yeah. But. Well, it's, it's just to get them on TV, yeah. I guess. But yeah, it was um, Becky and Naomi versus Liv Morgan and uh, and uh, Sarah Logan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Becky makes uh, Liv type out, right? Yeah, with the disarmor. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we had a hell of a main event. It's true. So uh, Daniel Bryan comes out, asks Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to come down to the ring. Mm-hmm. 
Um, he said, we need to talk about what happened last week. And the two of them are very excited about what they did, which yes. obviously they shouldn't have been because they were bad. <laughs> bad. They were bad boys. Yeah. It's going time out. Um, he, he, he had a lot of good points. Oh, yeah. She's like, you guys. This was a that. motivated Daniel Ryan, yeah. too. We haven't seen that in a yeah, while. That's true. Um, it's like, you guys did all of this to Shane after you had already won. Yeah. You guys were given a match at WrestleMania. Think about the, our days together. We would. This is what we were dreaming of. Mm-hmm. And he had given this to you. And then you went and did what you did. Yeah. Well, that, he was going away. Mm-hmm. Um, he, uh, he, he finally admitted that he was distracted by you and stuff like that. Right. And you kind of just, you know, ruined everything. Yep. So I have no choice but to do this. You guys are fired. Yes. <gasps> mm-hmm. So. And they. <laughs> so Zane has a, I can't believe this is happening look. Mm-hmm. And Owens looks like he's in shock. He's just standing there well, with. We like, know what that look gets. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's like. He'll stand there with his his mouth wide open. Um, Zane shakes Daniel Bryan's hand, mm-hmm. and then Owens does the too. Yeah, Owens starts to walk away, and then it happened. And uh, they started beating up Daniel Bryan. Yup. It, it was weird. It was definitely different. Yeah. It's ver- it's such a stark difference from someone who obviously wasn't going to ta- be taking any bumps to <laughs> someone who did that. Yeah. Um. So he gets beat down a little bit, mm-hmm. and then he retaliates. He the hits drop kicks in the corner, right? Yeah. And the, then he hits the S kicks too. Yeah. Well, he he went for him. I think Owens. Oh, oh yeah. Him. That was when they were, he got double teamed. Yeah. yeah. Then, oh no, no, that's right. He was going on Owens, and then Sami Zayn came, came from out. the outside. Mm-hmm. Um. Ultimately, uh, Owens hits a uh, power bomb on oh. the ring apron, which yep. I guess he's doing now again. I guess so. Um. And it's a devastating maneuver. It puts Sami Zayn out for all of those months, remember? Yeah. That's, that's how true. they wrote him. Yeah, yeah when he, when was he injured. hurt his arm. Yeah. Um, so uh, Daniel Bryan needed to be stretchered out of the arena. Yeah. So we got two stretcher segments uh, on Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, very different uh, reactions <laughs> to that. I liked when I texted you, and I was like, well, we didn't get any you deserve it chance because that's what Roman got after he was uh, being let out on the brought out on the stretcher. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Daniel Bryan is back. That yeah. just changes the whole dynamic it of SmackDown. changes a lot of things, yeah. yes. Um, but yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah. So, not many uh, complaints here, Yeah, even though I fell asleep. But that had nothing to do with it being boring. Yeah. So. That's just the course of nature. Yep. <laughs> that is true. Um, so, Mixed Match Challenge. Yeah. We nice had uh, The Miz that. and Asuka versus Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, as we talked about before, not a surprise that oh. Asuka and The Miz won. Mm-hmm. Um, they did a pretty good job doing it. Obviously, The Miz is afraid of Braun Strowman. Alexa is afraid of Asuka. Um, so there was a lot of tagging and tagging out. Uh, ultimately, pretty good storytelling. Yeah, it wasn't um, bad. And they did a pretty good job. Obviously, Alexa needed to take the pin. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yeah, because what did Braun run through The Miz, right? And mm-hmm. the timekeeper's yep. area? yeah, yeah. 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 So, it was uh, always an awesome spot, but it was just, it was so unnecessary, but it needed to be done in order for Asuka to get the win inside the ring. Yeah. So uh, that was good. Yeah. It was, it was entertaining. Yep. And then 205 Live, we learned that Mustafa Ali will be going to WrestleMania to face Cedric Alexander. Yeah. Him and uh, Drew Gulak had a hell of a match. God, they beat the crap out of each yeah. other. Um, like, Ali's just throwing himself everywhere. And it was another case Gul- of, no. I was going to say, it was another case of, one wrestler kind of playing into the way that another wrestler works because mm-hmm. you could see that Ali was getting frustrated and he was trying to like up his uh, ferocity yeah. and match Gulak. Yeah. Yeah. No, they put on a, a good match. Mm. Um, it's going to be, I'm looking forward to that match at Mania though. Yeah. This, this was the match that had to happen. So. Absolutely. But yeah. And uh, yeah. So that was our WWE Week in Review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.